Attention all car enthusiasts! Have you ever thought that owning a Tesla was only for the elite? Well, hold on to your seats because we have some exciting news for you. In a surprising move, Elon Musk announced the production of a new and affordable electric vehicle, the Tesla Model 2. Yes, you heard that right! The luxury EV brand is branching out to cater to a wider audience. But how will Tesla manage to maintain their renowned quality while offering an affordable price? Today, we're diving into the exciting features of the Model 2 and discussing the challenges that Tesla may face in producing this game-changing car. So, buckle up and join us on this thrilling ride. In its bid to produce an EV car, we must bear in mind that Tesla is not the only brand out there. In fact, in recent times, the production of electric cars has resurrected some brands and brought them to the limelight. An example of such a brand is Hummer. We have other brands like Riven and Lucid Motors, Chinese EV giant, and BYO. Although Tesla is still considered the king of electric models, as its Model 3 and Y are still the best-selling electric vehicles of all time, Tesla would still have to make sure that its new Model 2 is top-notch to retain its reputation with other brands out there. One thing that might give the new Tesla an edge over other brands though is its price. If Tesla can produce the Model 2 by 2024, it will be the first to create a true electric vehicle for the masses. This may put Tesla under a lot of pressure, as they have other cars like the Volkswagen ID2 that are hot on their heels. However, pressured as they might be, producing the Model 2 in high quality at a low price will lead to an increase in demand for the vehicle. The increase in demand for the Model 2 will surely have a good impact, both for the company and the environment. For the company, more sales equal more profit. We would have a healthier environment because more EVs sold would mean more clean cars distributed and the reduction of carbon emitting cars and their fumes. The transportation system is one of the greatest contributors to greenhouse gas emissions, so an increase in the purchase of electric vehicles will inevitably lead to a better climate. Also, it would be good for the EV industry as more automotive companies would want to produce affordable EVs like the Model 2. In a nutshell, the car would mean a win-win for everybody. According to research by the European Environment Air Agency, air pollution alone causes 400,000 deaths a year. Therefore, an increase in the demand for electric vehicles will lead to the release of less harmful pollutants in the air, which will in turn lead to far fewer deaths. That's how much change Model 2 can make. Another thing that might also give Tesla an edge over other EV brands is that Tesla has been at the forefront of electric car development since the company was founded. It's created a name for itself in the industry, as it's known for its creative innovations and its ability to continually increase the capability of its electric vehicle. It also has a loyal fan base and a loyal list of clients too, that trust Tesla to deliver high quality electric cars. These might give Tesla an edge over other brands. Let's take a look at what the Model 2 might look like. According to supply chain insiders, it's said that the Model 2 would most likely be a smaller version of the popular Model Y SUV. They estimated the car to be 15% shorter and 13% lighter than the Model 3. This can be believed to be true, as Elon Musk, in an investor meeting last year, claimed that the company's next-generation platform from mass-market electric vehicles would lead to the production of smaller cars. Since the Model Y was very popular, it makes sense for Elon Musk to build Model 2 as a crossover SUV styled after the model. This might give the new Model 2 as much popularity as Model 3 has. In a series of tweets by Elon Musk, he claimed that the new vehicle will work on a range of roughly 200 miles on a single charge. It will also have autonomous driving capability. Elon Musk has always stressed the importance of autonomy, as he said, the thing that is gigantic for Tesla is autonomy. The advantages of autonomous self-driving are beyond measure, as it helps in reducing accidents due to its 360-degree vision, whereas humans only have 180. Moreover, government data has identified that 94% of crashes are caused by driver error, so self-driving vehicles will help in the reduction of these crashes. This method is also beneficial to people with disabilities, as they would be able to own cars too. The drive unit for the Model 2 will only cost $1,000, and it won't contain any rare earth minerals. On March 1st, 2023, Tesla announced that it has reduced the amount of rare earths in its Model 3's powertrain by 25% since 2017. The company also revealed that it plans to eliminate their use in future vehicles. 
Most EVs make use of rare earth minerals like neodymium and praseodymium, which are not only harmful to the environment, but are also ridiculously expensive. Another feature of the Model 2 might be the updated parallel and serial assembly method that will allow the stamp, the paint, and the casting to take place at the same time. This will give room for quicker, more efficient assembly. With the incredible features that Model 2 promises, it will only cost around $20,000. This is a low price for an EV, as the Model S and Y cost about $50,000, and even the Super Mini EVs that have lower output and lower range compared to the aforementioned cost about $35,000. The other competitors of models S and Y, like the Toyota BZ4X, cost about $40,000 for the baseline model. So when Tesla offered to sell the Model 2 for the price of around $20,000, people began to wonder how it was going to produce quality cars like the models S and Y, which are equally expensive. Tesla has mentioned that it will be increasing its annual production units from its current 500,000 units to 4 million units. So, how will Tesla manage to produce these large units at a low price? To maintain its reputation for producing high-quality vehicles and to keep it cheap this time, Tesla has decided to reduce the production cost. One way to do this is by moving a segment of their production site to China. Although the workforce is not at all cheap in China, it is relatively cheaper than the workforce in the USA. Also, many of Tesla's competitors, like Toyota, have done the same thing as the quality of China's workforce has gone up over the years. So, moving a segment of their production will enable them to produce quality cars at a relatively low rate. We're also relying on the efficiency of Tesla's gigafactories, as Elon Musk also has the largest manufacturing plant in Nevada. Furthermore, the reduction in the prices of parts for electric vehicles and the increased availability will make it easier for Tesla to produce the Model 2 at a low price. Over the last 10 years, the cost of electric batteries and other necessary components used in the production of EV cars has reduced to the extent that they're now even more affordable than other traditional gasoline-powered cars. Maybe Tesla can produce these cheap EV cars anyway. Tesla is also planning to cut its battery production by 50%. This is because of its new 4680 type battery packs that are much faster, logistically simple, and 50% cheaper to produce than any other batteries that Tesla has ever used. If they happen to produce this battery in the US, they may qualify for federal subsidies, and this would make the production process even cheaper and more efficient. However, it's important to bear in mind that Elon Musk has not been consistent with his statements over time. For example, in 2020, he revealed that there would be the production of a $25,000 electric car, and many believed this was going to happen. However, at the Q4 2021 earnings, when asked about the $25,000 electric car, he claimed they had a lot on their plate. We also shouldn't forget that the Cybertruck, which had been revealed to the public for over three years now, has not started delivering, and Tesla's Semi took over three years before it was released for sale. The price of models S and Y was supposed to be a cheap introduction to EVs, with their baseline model initially at a moderate price of $37,000 before it was increased to a price of $48,000. How sure are we that Tesla isn't going to increase the price of the Model 2 later on? Many believe that Tesla might reveal the Model 2 by the end of 2023 and that it might hit the market by 2024. We'll keep our fingers crossed and see if the Model 2 will be out for sale by then. That's all for today's video. Do let us know what you think about the Tesla Model 2 in the comments section below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.